Globally, folks, there are more than 300,000 children diagnosed with cancer each year, according to the American Childhood Cancer Organization. The month of September is recognized as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and Merritt Morgan spoke to a family here in the East who has experienced the heartache of childhood cancer firsthand. She joins us live now in Greenville with more information. Merritt. Well, Derek, the family I spoke to says that it's extremely important and vital to continue shedding light on childhood cancer awareness, as they say that you really don't know what it's like until you find yourself or your family going through it. Now, I also spoke to Riley's Army here in Greenville, who also sees this firsthand. They say that they, too, are taking action. Childhood cancer is the number one cause of death by disease for children in America, according to the American Childhood Cancer Organization, a devastating sickness the Quick family knows all too well. My son Dylan was diagnosed um, with Ewing sarcoma in 2014. He was 14 years old. It did return three times. Though Quick passed away in January of 2019, his mother Tammy still recalls what the difficult time was like. The effect that that has on your family, not only emotionally, physically, but financially is just exhausting, but you're willing to do whatever it takes you know, for, for your child. The month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, a month the Quick family holds near and dear to their hearts. The most difficult thing you will ever face, you, you don't know how to react or what to do. You only want to help your child and there's nothing you can do. Which is why the Dylan Quick Foundation is dedicated to spreading awareness in the honor of their son by holding a Childhood Cancer Awareness softball tournament each September. We do lunch, we sell lunch, we sell raffle tickets. We have tons of great raffles, t-shirts, cups, um, all sorts of great merchandise. But the Dylan Quick Foundation isn't the only one working to spread awareness. Greenville's Riley's Army is also taking action. We have our gold bow campaign, mm -hmm. which are $10 and people put them on their mailboxes. We have, um, for example, Cedar Ridge in Winterville just turned in $1,600 in bow donations just from doing the neighborhood campaign, which is amazing. Both organizations working to make sure every family facing the battle of childhood cancer does not go through the fight alone. You're not alone. We don't want anyone to go through childhood cancer alone. And if you're looking to get involved here at Riley's Army in Greenville or the Dylan Quick Foundation, you can find both of those websites on our website at WITN.com. Live in Greenville, Mayor Morgan, WITN News. Such Derek. a touching effort there, Mayor. Thank you. Now, the ACCO says nearly 16,000 children face cancer each year in the U.S. Riley's Army has served 440 of those children.